ഹലോ മൈ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഹലോ മൈ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഹലോ മൈക് ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് तो यही रहना जब तक बेटा खत्म हो
and unambiguous communication Should I continue or from the beginning? Dr. Songat sir and other audience, am I audible? Online? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Madam. Thank you, sir. Beginning. Beginning. Most respected Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Janikiram, sir, University officers, guest speaker, guests of honor, associate deans, staff and students of colleges, heads of research stations and KVKs of Dr. Vyasar Horticultural University, Venkatramanagudam, a very good morning to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to you all to the webinar on effective ways of writing a thesis on research article being organized by the College of Horticulture, Venkatramanagudam. It's my privilege and honor to extend a heartfelt welcome to the chief guest of today's program, Dr. T. Janakiram, sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vyasar Hichi. His constant encouragement and immense support is the driving force in organizing this program. Dr. Janakiram, sir, makes us to invest untired efforts in bringing different kinds of learning and research resources from all corners of the globe for improvement of student academic skills. I'm glad to greet today's guest of honor, Dr. A. S. Padmavatamagaru, Dean of Horticulture and board member of Dr. Vyasar H.U., who consistently inspires and leads us. Welcome, Madam. I'm delighted to invite the guest of honor for today's webinar, Dr. S. Suryakumari, Dean of PG Studies, Dr. Vyasar H.U., who always guides and supports the institutional mission of student academic excellence. Welcome, madam. And also, I'm glad to greet um, the university officer, Dr. Salami Sunita, madam, Dean of Student FIs, Dr. Vyasar H.U. to this program. Welcome, madam. It's my great joy to welcome eminent guest speaker, Dr. Somdath, managing editor of the journal Current Horticulture. He has accomplishments uh, in the field of, he has many accomplishments in the field of horticulture. On behalf of Dr. Vyasar H.U., a warm welcome to you, sir, to share your thoughts and enlighten us more about on the today's subject. I would like to extend a hearty welcome to all the associate deans, heads of research stations and KVKs, faculty members from all colleges and students. As students embark on their academic journey, they often encounter the term thesis on numerous occasions. Initially, they may thought of it as a daunting task 
that required countless hours of solitary work. Thesis writing is a crucial component of higher education, wherein students engage in deep and sustained inquiry into a particular research problem. It is a culmination of years of research, analysis, and critical thinking, demonstrating a student mastery of their subject area. It demands a level of rigor, attention to detail, and mastery of subject matter that is essential for success in any field. Academic writing as the epitome of exact and unambiguous communication is an irrefutable component of higher education, a delight to some, a nightmare to others. Essays, research papers, thesis, and other types of academic writing have long been the annoyance for many students' lives. Still, they play a vital role and a boon in the pursuit of higher education. The essential goal of academic writing is to communicate ideas, theories, arguments, and evidence in a clear, concise, and compelling manner. It is the process by which ideas are shared, debated, and evolved. After completion of research project and submission of thesis, writing a scientific paper and submitting it to a journal for publication takes time and might be scary also sometimes. Lack of, lack of experience, poor writing habits, writing with anxiety, unfamiliarity with academic writing standards, a lack of confidence in one's writing skills, fear of failure and resistance to feedback, are all barriers to successful academic writing. However, the act of writing itself may be a useful instrument for encouraging the process of <coughs> scientific thought. Excellent writing abilities enable experts to engage in larger scientific discussions. Furthermore, technical writing experience can help to establish and enhance peer review manuscript publication procedures. Understanding the method and structure utilized to achieve a peer review publication will undoubtedly increase the probability that a submitted paper will result. Clear communication of research findings is critical for the advancement of science and professional practice. The publication process culminates in not just satisfaction for the researcher and intellectual property protection, but also serves the critical, crucial purpose of disseminating research results. New ideas and alternate thought, which eventually encourages the academic conversation. In summary, the publication of scientific articles is one strategy to enhance evidence-based practice in a variety of fields, including horticultural sciences. The objective of this webinar is to impart knowledge to the faculty and students through insightful presentations from experts that explore deeper into the world of research article writing. Writing for publication can be a challenging yet satisfying endeavor. The ability to examine, relate, and interlink evidence, as well as to provide pre-reviewed, disseminated product of your research. During the academic, during the technical sessions, the expert will explain how the emerging writer might attempt, refine, and improve their approach to academic writing. I am confident that this webinar will give us a unique opportunity to explore and improve our understanding of thesis and research article writing and may help our students have a deeper and more specialized learning experience. I wish everyone a fruitful and a fruitful and enriching experience during this program. Once again, with distinct pleasure, I extend a warm welcome to each one of you to this webinar on effective ways of writing a thesis and research article. Now I request Dr. S. Suryakumari, Dean of PG Studies, Dr. Vyasar Hu, to present introductory remarks about this program. Madam, please. A 
very good morning to one and all. It is with great pleasure and honor today I stand here as Dean of PG Studies for this insightful webinar on effective ways of writing research article and thesis. This topic on hand is not just pertinent to the academic community, but also resonates with anyone and everyone who is passionate about advancing their knowledge and contributing to the scholarly discourse. In this ever evolving landscape of academia, the ability to communicate the research is of paramount importance. <clears throat> A well-crafted research article or thesis not only reflects the depth of one's understanding, but also when presented through the right platform, serves as a crucial medium for sharing the valuable insights with the global community. As we navigate through this webinar, we'll explore the essential elements and strategies that contribute to the creation of impactful and meaningful research documents. Research writing or thesis writing is not merely a technical exercise, but this is an art that demands precision, clarity, and creativity. This involves weaving together a narrative Thank you, Madam, for your introductory remarks. Now I request Dr. A. S. Padmatmagaru, Dean of Horticulture, Dr. Vyasar Vechu, to address the gathering. Madam, please.
Respected Honorable Vice Chancellor and Chief Guest of today's webinar, Dr. T. Janikram Garu, the University Officers, Dr. Surakumari, Dean of PG Studies, Dr. Salome Sinita, Dean of Student Affairs, eminent speaker of today's webinar, Dr. Somdadzi, uh, Dr. Madhvi, Associate Dean, College of Articles of ER Gudem, the faculty members and all other Associate Deans of Colleges, their faculty and students, heads of research stations and KVKs and team of scientists, all the other participants. Very good morning to all of you. And uh, I welcome you all to this webinar. It's my pleasure to be here for this webinar on effective ways of writing theses and research articles. It's a great idea of our Honorable Vice Chancellor to organize this seminar for the benefit of students and budding scientists. Due to some pre-scheduled official program, our Honorable Vice Chancellor has not joined this program, so he has sent his best wishes for the successful conduct of this program. It's uh, Thank you, sir. It is certain that this program motivates the participants, especially students, for effective thesis and research articles during using different strategies. Horticultural research has an important role to play in meeting the targets in increasing productivity. Uh, since new technologies, inputs, and techniques of production that increase agricultural horticulture productivity are developed through research. As, as young horticulture professionals and future scientists, students must focus on research every day. It must be innovative, need-based, and addressing the problems of encountered by farming community. The results achieved from research of either scientists or PG research will lead the farmers in the form of recommendations by extension personnel. Presenting research in the form of research papers is as important as conducting research. Research paper published from scientists' work in research stations through PG and also through PG research dissertation is one of the way of popular and effective presentation of research results. Writing a good research paper takes time, thought, and effort. It should be well-defined and provide valuable information. Next comes section of... Next comes selection of a uh, good research uh, journal. Several online and offline platforms are available where you can share research findings with public, like national and international conferences, peer-reviewed journals, newspapers, local magazines, and books. One should be careful in choosing a journal and not try to avoid predatory journals. Some of the online metrics that would help to find out trusted journals are Scopus, Insight, Web of Science, uh, Elgin Factor, that help to select good journal based on ranking, impact factor, and citation. I'm happy to share that the speaker of today's uh, webinar, Dr. Somdadzi, is a Secretary for Society of Horticulture and Research and Development and managing editor of current horticulture and formerly editor for Indian Agri Journal of Agriculture Sciences and Indian uh, Horticulture, ICI New Delhi. He is the right person to guide our students for writing good research articles and good thesis and to get academic success. So I'm sure that all of all our students and budding scientists will be benefited by this webinar. I congratulate Dr. Surya Kumari, uh, Dean of Postgraduate Studies, and uh, Dr. Madhavi, Associate Dean, and our team uh, for uh, organizing, organizing this webinar and, uh, and for giving me this uh, opportunity to speak in this. I wish you all the best for this seminar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam, for briefing about this. Uh at the thesis writing and also the article writing and also for enlightening us, both the staff and students. Now I request Dr. E. Padma, Associate Professor, Head of the Department, Vegetable Science and PG Academic in Charge of this college to introduce the speaker. Good morning to all. Good morning, sir. Dr. Somdat started his professional at IRI New Delhi in 1982. Since Dr. Somdat had keen interest in popular science writing, he joined Publications and Information Division at ICR Headquarters, New Delhi, 
and Dr. Somdat was formerly editor for Indian Journal of Agriculture Sciences and Indian Horticulture. He has also edited the Handbook of Horticulture, Balkes book in 2001. And Dr. Somdat has written about 500 popular articles on agriculture sciences, book chapters, and many more in Hindi. And Dr. Somdat is editor for the current horticulture under the ages of the Society for Horticulture Research and Development, Gajiabad, Uttar Pradesh, India. And the journal has NAS rating of 4.53. And to his credit, Dr. Somdat has the following awards. Chaudhary Charan Singh Award for Excellence in Journalism in Agriculture Research and Development 2008, Raijada Memorial Award for Young Information Scientist 1990, Best Editor Award 2008, and Ujjan Shri Award for the Popularization of Horticultural and Agricultural Sciences in Different Media. We welcome you, sir, to the webinar. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Padma. Now I request Dr. Sumdat, sir, Managing Editor, Current Horticulture Journal, formerly edited for Indian Journal of Agricultural Sciences and Indian Horticulture, to deliver the guest lecture on effective ways of writing a thesis and research article. Dr. Sumdat, sir. Yes, yes, madam. I'm ready. Huh? Good morning, everybody. Respected uh, Vice Chancellor of this uh, Vice Chancellor Horticulture University, Dr. Janki Ramji, Dr. Surya Kumari Ji, Dean PG Studies, Dr. Padma Vatham, Dean Horticulture, Dr. Madhvi, Associate Dean, Dr. Uma Krishnan, Professor and Head, Dr. Padma, Associate <coughs> Professor and, uh, and others, and my dear all students. I am very thankful to VC Saab, Dr. Janki Ram. The voice is not audible, sir. Not audible. Kindly, can you increase your volume, sir? Yes. Am I audible? Hello? No, sir. It's coming very slowly. Very slowly. Your oh, voice God. is very feeble. Maybe if you can kindly increase the volume of your uh, yeah, yeah, yes. laptop, I think. But it is 100%. However, I will speak some loudly. Is it audible? Yes, sir. For yes, us, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. No it's audible. Audible. It's audible, sir. You can. Yes, yes. Honorable uh, VC, Dr. Janki Ramji, I am very thankful to you your, for your uh, initiatives for uh, dissemination of agriculture science among different stakeholders. As I know, you are a very supporter of technological dissemination since very beginning. And uh, fortunately, you are VC of Horticulture Research and uh, Development uh, University. So, I thank uh, all of you. And before I start my talk, I would like to thank all students who are very eager to listen about writing ways for effective communication for thesis and all research papers. So, should I start my uh, slides? Yes,
sir we are audible sir, sir. you can kindly sir you are audible sir kindly unmute your mic sir you are audible kindly unmute sir viewers has gone to mute ah sir you are then sir kindly unmute sir sir please unmute sir sir please unmute in, in your system yeah okay sir uh, right sir. yeah it's audible sir now yes well one in the kind of you can share your screen sir इसमें तो ना देखिए वो इस काम काम पे पे क्या नाम है इस पे उसकी नाम है वो इफेक्टिव इफेक्टिव दिखाई थी वाली ने सो भूल भी रही थी मैं से बदल जाएंगे ना ये हाँ तो अब तो वो बदलेंगे ना उन्होंने तो चढ़ाई है ना you can speak huh? you can speak if you want to something dekho hello hello yes sir yes sir it's visible sir you can speak ah, should i speak should yes, i sir, start yes sir yes sir ah ye kaise aayegi ye 
पहले इंट्रोडक्टरी तो बोलो अच्छा अच्छा यस शुड आई स्पीक हेलो यस सर यस सर हाँ टेक्निकल एंड पॉपुलर राइटिंग फॉर इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन और इफेक्टिव वेज फॉर राइटिंग ए थीसिस ऑब्लिक रिसर्च आर्टिकल माय एम इज टू कन्विंस द ऑल रिसर्च स्टूडेंट्स पीएचडी स्टूडेंट्स एमएससी स्टूडेंट्स हाउ टू राइट ए रिसर्च आर्टिकल फॉर ए रिसर्च जर्नल और प्रेजेंट ए गुड पेपर फॉर हाई नास रेटेड ऑब्लिक impact factor journals and similarly thesis writing there is no difference between research uh, writing research article and thesis writing in broader sense if you will uh, write a thesis that is a thesis but in research article only you have to concentrate only one aspect so next slide hello गो टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर
सब एक्सक्यूज मी कुछ नेटवर्क इश्यू है सब जस्ट फाइव मिनट वे आर रेक्टिफाइंग इट सर कुछ नेटवर्क इश्यू है सर Sir, Somdat, sir, can you kindly share you from your side, sir? Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Kindly share. Can you share it from your side, sir? We'll give you the share hosting. That's why. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. He is trying to share. He is sharing. Try one minute, sir. थोड़ा मिनिमाइज करके वो उसमें देख लो डिलीटेड है डिलीट कैसे हो गई है पता नहीं कैसे हो गई कर दिया सर स्लाइड शेयर है पहली इससे पहली करो पहली 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 तीसरी करो तीसरी पर स्पीक हेलो हेलो सर 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 स्टार्ट 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 प्लीज हेलो यू यू आर कैन ओके 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 सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट राइटिंग समथिंग टू सम वन वी शुड बोदर अबाउट द ऑडियंस व्हाट इज ऑडियंस audience means the reader in print media the listener in electronic media so we have to care whether who is the reader or who is the listener accordingly we have to write number 1 audience is divided into many parts if it is a layman or a farmer then we have to use simple words 
and easy language so that they can understand easily try to use local words if you are writing for a layman or a farmer try to use local words which are very popular in their own or vernacular languages we can use traditional or popular words of their own tongue that may be hindi english and other telugu malayalam and other languages next if policy makers are the audience then then we have to uh, be again uh, very careful if policy makers bureaucrats technocrats are the audience then the language should be simple and convincing so that we can convince them accordingly give suggestions and solutions based on scientific facts and figures not theoretical because we cannot convince them so all the things all the information should be on scientific facts facts and figures give valid recommendations for a particular thing place crop etc if you want to introduce some crop in a particular region then you have to give some recommendations based on the basis of your research findings or your uh, experiment etc etc then only some valid conclusion can be made and you can convince them for a introduction of a particular crop or particular place okay give strategies for improvement and logics without uh, giving logics and uh, strategies you cannot convince any policy makers so next cite cite scientific research based examples of success stories if you can suppose you want to introduce some crop so you have to emphasize on a success story that for a, that a particular farmer has done uh, wonders in uh, in that area and if he can earn a lot of money by growing that crop so we we can introduce such crop in a particular region so these the, these are the points they should be uh, thought they should be considered while writing to a policy maker as a as a recommendation next if scientists researchers are the audience use highly technical words because techni scientist can understand technical words also and if you will uh, give technical words then only it will look uh, good right up not simple ones unko they, they are not required to be used by simple words use proper metric units in that case you have to use degree celsius for temperature hectare for land measurement meter for length and breadth etc etc so in that case you have to be uh, very particular about all metric units you have not to give their uh, local metric unit like uh, one and kilo etc etc be updated and use latest terms and terminologies in your write up because there are so many emerging terms and terminologies day by day so you have to use all these terms and terminologies in your write up for a researcher oblique scientist or research paper at least the write up should have all technical keywords now uh, as uh, i will proceed i will tell you what are the keywords keywords should be given in such type of write ups otherwise you cannot emphasize or you cannot convince them without giving proper keywords next language before we start writing either it is a popular article or a research article or a letter formal letter informal letter whatever it is always use simple words write short sentences in a logical order short sentences complicated sentence you know they uh, create confusion and uh, reader cannot understand easily use active voice always use active voice not passive voice relate all sentences with each other maintain coherence in the text while writing coherence is very important otherwise uh, if you can uh, Uh, you are disturbed while writing so reader in, uh, lose their interest and they do not go 
further and they simply set aside and they don't read. Okay. Paragraphs should be short and readable. Short paragraphs are better understandable to readers. Give human touch to your article to make it interesting. Either it is a popular writing, popular writing, popular write-up, research article, that should be given proper human touch. If you want to write on a new variety, give its attractive features like yield, economics of cultivation, value-added products, and yield potential, etc., etc. Then only one will start cultivating a particular crop or a particular variety, hybrid, etc., etc. Give practical information, not uh, theoretical. Theory stand nowhere in scientific writing. Yes, next. Guidelines. Whenever you start writing for a research paper or a, for a magazine or for a, a newspaper or anything, you have to consult the guidelines. Every publication, even electronic media itself has some guidelines. If you are writing some uh, radio talk, then you have to concentrate for a, a, a limit of words because they, they that has also uh, limitations. So every publication in print media itself has its guidelines. You, you, you consult all before you start writing. As I have told, electronic media has its own guidelines and limitations of words, duration of talk, etc., etc. You have to complete your talk in a particular time slot. Follow the guidelines strictly of the magazine, public journal, or publication in which you want to submit your article. Stick to number of words required by a particular publication. Do not exceed the page limit. Because when one writer exceeds the page limit, so it disturbs the editor. And normally, it, it is very harmful to the author. Send quality color photographs. Photographs. As uh, we know, one photograph is equal to 1,000 words. So, photograph should be given <coughs> very carefully. Do not staple. Yeah, it was in the uh, old time, but uh, now you uh, so, uh, soft copy is sent. So, that is for a <coughs> old period. Do not write captions on photographs. You can write captions on a separate sheet. Give one to tables or graphs. Avoid repetition of data in tables and graphs. <clears throat> Normally, uh, students give more tables. They understand that uh, giving, uh, giving more table is very good, but that is wrong. One or two table only very, which are very important you give and uh, graph, <clears throat> they should be good presented. But repetition of data should be avoided in both table and graph. Type in double space everywhere. Don't in single space just to avoid uh, the page limit. Do not leave typing error. Well written and presented articles are given priority. If one, uh, if you write one article and that is well presented, it attracts the editor also. So normally it is considered. So you must be very careful. It should be very good, well presented, well written, and uh, <clears throat> well presented. Next. Guidelines for current horticulture. As you know, I have <clears throat> completed my 35 years in ICAR. So I have edited Indian General of Agriculture Sciences as well as Indian Horticulture. Indian Horticulture is a popular magazine and Indian General of Agriculture Sciences is a research journal. Very <coughs> good journal. Uh, should I say that is the best journal in our country and it is internationally acclaimed journal. So 
<clears throat> we uh, are also bringing out current horticulture on the pattern of Indian Journal of Agriculture Sciences. As I have told, every publication has its own guidelines. So current horticulture has also its guidelines. Consult them before submitting your article to the journal. We have all guidelines on our website. So <clears throat> consult them and start writing only after consulting. Similarly, magazines or newspapers, they have also their guidelines. So you follow whatever guidelines are there. Follow guidelines strictly. It has page and word limit. So you have to be uh, very uh, sincere about all these guidelines. Next. Writing an article for a research journal. Now, since you most of you are a research uh, uh, research manager, research scientists, students, uh, MSc students, PhD students. So you need how to write a research article. Research article, when you can write research article, you can write a thesis also. Because in broader perspective, if you write, that is a thesis. And uh, if you write one aspect of your research, that is a research article. So research article <coughs> consists so many things you have to be consider you have to be uh, very particular for writing a research article <coughs> research article consists of a title next uh, when uh, i will go further i will tell you uh, the uh, the qualities of title what type of title should be there next is address of the authors affiliation <coughs> normally people give <coughs> affiliation of all the authors <coughs> under the uh, title, that is wrong. Simply you give the affiliation where the work or the research was conducted, res research was done. Byline should have the name of institution of experimentation just below the names of authors. That is very essential. <coughs> Their affiliation should be given in a footnote, but uh, remaining authors affiliation needs to be given in a footnote. That is, uh, if you will see the current horticulture or Indian Journal of Agriculture, Agriculture Sciences, you will find out a footnote on the very first page, title page, uh, that is a footnote that contains the affiliation of remaining authors. Then it comes abstracts, keywords. Keywords, uh, I will tell you about keywords, very important aspect, introduction. Materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement writing is also an art that I will tell you. References, tables, figures, and their captions. So these are the parts of a research article. And similarly, these are also part of a thesis. In thesis, only summary is different. So summary is the broader uh, form of abstract of your research findings. Next, uh, I will tell you. Next, next slide. Title of the paper. Every publication or even uh, news or a newspaper, if title is attractive, catchy, short, convincing, then the reader goes to uh, Further uh, reading, otherwise uh, reader has no interest, they, they lose their interest. So title should be very short, catchy, specific and informative. And in case of research uh, article, title should be analytical, which can analyze your research findings so that readers or uh, your follower can <coughs> read. It should be very attractive must have vital keywords, keywords of your research findings. Your <clears throat> research findings should be reflected by keywords. Include nature of study, what nature of study is there, technical approach should be there. Example, next. Example of title of research papers, cultural, morphological, and pathological variability in different isolate 
isolates of penicillium italicum causing blue mold rot of orange this uh, title was given by some author so i have changed this uh, title because uh, that is very lengthy and uh, confusing so i have changed and i have written like that variability in different isolates of blue mold rot bracket penicillium italicum on orange citrus reticul reticulata botanical name should be given for uh, for crop or for fungi or uh, whatever causal organism they should be uh, given all types of variabilities are discussed in results and discussion because uh, here i have not given cultural morphological and pathological variability because all these have been discussed in results and discussion that is why variability is itself uh, conveying all cultural morphological and pathological variability so i have changed it like that okay <clears throat> so title should be short catchy analytical and self explanatory otherwise reader do not go further for reading so title should be uh, very convincing very short and very attractive next now we come to abstract abstract of a research article is very important because whenever article comes to the editor simply he or she is attracted by the title number 1 number 2 abstract if abstract is good very well presented very good written and very convincing then only the article has good chances better chances of its acceptance otherwise it may be rejected simply i used to reject when abstract is not well written because so many people or so many students write uh, introduction in reference for example someone is written has written <coughs> article on mango so they write mango is very good crop very important fruit crop grown in this 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 belt so these things are not required in abstract abstract should be very short and good <coughs> uh, good informative do not use more than 150 words then only you can uh, say that you have uh, uh, given your research finding or follow guidelines of that journal because uh, normally 150 words are <coughs> liked uh, by uh, us in abstract so gist of the research needs to be given gist abstract means gist of your research findings nothing else not introduction not material method not result and discussion contains very brief account of materials and methods only one line results and discussion and conclusion they they all these things should be given abstract so that readers need not refer to the article except for details he or she can get all the uh, details in abstract itself if he or she wants to uh, do further research then he or she will go uh, in details otherwise abstract should convince should fulfill the requirement okay it should not have references or liter to literature so many people uh, used to write references in abstract references uh, are not required to be given in abstract illustrations and tables usually don't give like th like that the period of study should be given most of the people do not give the period of study period of study is very important because uh, normally we reject uh, <coughs> uh, old uh, data based article normally we consider five year and uh, less than five years <coughs> research based article so please give a uh, period of study that is very vital part of abstract the name of institution needs to be given where the experiment was conducted experiment was conducted that is very important and write like that the experiment 
was conducted on mango mangifera indica yeah here abstract should be uh, given by botanical name to find out the effect of high density planting during this 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 at the icar ihr bangalore first sentence should be like that it contains material method it contains a period of study and where the experiment was conducted okay then give your findings of your research paper after that after this, uh, that sentence you give your research findings nothing is required after that only ex give your findings what is the gist of your findings the data should be at least of 2 years or preferably of 3 years <clears throat> since you are doing research and you are busy <clears throat> try to give 2 years data in your research uh, paper or more than 2 years data <clears throat> because one year data we cannot some uh, uh, have a valid conclusion on the basis of one year data only two year data can give good conclusion good uh, <clears throat> findings good recommendation so try to give two year or three year data that is very important next Next, please. Here I have given example of abstract. You will find in this uh, abstract, he has given uh, introductory information about this crop. I have deleted and I have started from an experiment was conducted. And simply I have made it half in uh, words and half in length. So abstract should be right there, like that not uh, give introduction and all references and all these things next please this is example two so <clears throat> he has also given all the introduction and all these things about uh, this uh, research paper so i have deleted and i have started an experiment or or a study was undertaken like that like that okay so uh, please try to avoid all these things and keep uh, on writing like that. Next. Now we come to keywords. Hello, hello.
क्या करूं स्पीक 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 यस थ्री वर्ड्स हेलो आस्क देम यू आर ऑडिबल आस्क देम हां मैडम एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो यस सर यस सर यस सर सर यस सर यस सर एंड इज यू कैन स्पीक नाउ हेलो you can start they are they are listening ha ah, hello madam should i start yes sir hello yes you can start ah madam you can start please you can start they are listening acha keywords hello keywords हेलो आ गिव सर्टेन कीवर्ड्स हेलो 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 कीवर्ड्स हेलो कीवर्ड्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन रिसर्च आर्टिकल आवाज वो रहा नहीं सुन रहे वो भी सुन रहे हैं उन्होंने कहा दे आर यू आर ऑडिबल की गिव सर्टेन कीवर्ड्स व्हिच सपोर्ट योर रिसर्च फाइंडिंग्स डू नॉट गिव नेम ऑफ अ क्रॉप और इट्स वैरायटी इन कीवर्ड्स इन रिसर्च रिव्यू आर्टिकल यू मे गिव द नेम ऑफ द क्रॉप ओनली what are keywords in the, in the above article i have told you cultural morphological pathological variability blue mold rot etc etc they they are keywords note the other words these keywords have been taken from the text of the article since they are not in the <coughs> uh, i have not taken uh, from the uh, title so these are these have been described in results and discussion so i have discussed all these things in the results and discussion and i have taken from them always consult text for keywords keywords uh, are very important so always consult results and discussion material method and other text so uh, to give proper keywords next please <laughs> नहीं सुन रहे मैडम वो हेलो नहीं सुन रहे हेलो यू आर ऑडिबल सर नो यू आर ऑडिबल सर यू आर यू आर ऑडिबल हां नाउ वी कम टू इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ रिसर्च आर्टिकल शुड बी ब्रीफ एंड लिमिटेड रिलेटेड ओनली टू द प्रॉब्लम और द एम एंड स्कोप ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट why do you want to write article these things should be emphasized in writing a introduction give some review based on recent literature keywords should be given in beginning cite important references which are related to your research work it should be only in one paragraph because normally people write 2 3 4 5 paragraphs in introduction so it does it is a wrong habit normally give one paragraph what prompted you to write this article why you are writing this article to a research journal what uh, what is your aim why it is required all these things should be highlighted in one para paragraph that is a good introduction do not give basic information on the crop you want to write as i have told you earlier also basic information are not required do not give area of production growing area etc preliminary information just as i have told that mango is grown in certain these 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 things area so these are not required if you are writing a article on mango so you simply concentrate why uh, what what was the problem with mango cultivation why it it is required why do you want to write uh, such article and what is your aim of research all these things should be highlighted highlighted in introduction give to the point facts 
that this is the reason to do research on such aspect to the point very limited very uh, short information because introduction is also a very uh, problematic part for rejection or uh, acceptance editor usually go <clears throat> through introduction and uh, if he or she sees that there is some uh, there is some research then he or she consider it otherwise simply it is rejected so introduction uh, writing introduction is very important aspect of a research article next materials and methods materials and methods or oh, normally people write good and uh, i appreciate uh, it is almost uh, same there is no difference but uh, some care should be given while writing materials and methods give relevant details of materials and methods give experimental design and techniques used cite standard work done and period of study as i have told earlier also the statistical method should be dealt in details why uh, what uh, analysis you have done what method you have adopted in analyzing the statistically give cite some references of statistical methods also the mean results with relevant standard error should be given rather than detailed data okay next paragraph results and discussion now we come to results and discussion so many people write results separately discussion separately that is wrong internationally accepted is results and discussion they should be combined so combine both of them <clears throat> to avoid repetition results should be supported by brief but adequate number of tables or graphs as i have told table and graph they should be well presented data should not be uh, repeated avoid repetition of data if you have given in table you avoid to give in graph graph should be very uh, good presentable i yeah. use metric unit system that uh, that is kilometer meter centimeter etc etc tables and illustration should be given up to 20% of the text don't exceed 20% of the text in tables and graphs because uh, normally people give 8 9 10 tables that is wrong normally editor avoid and reject uh, the uh, article or uh, ask the author to combine uh, tables so it is better give two to three tables with two to three graphs and if tables are more and you want to give you combine them and give adequately give adequate number of latest references adequate references should not be uh, more than 5 years old so, so many people write 10 20 50 years old so that is wrong recent references avoid old and cite re recent references old references should be avoid except standard ones jo standard references hai they are they are highlighted as for statistical method we have to consult or we have to cite uh, uh, sukhatme and panse panse and sukhatme uh, that is a book written by uh, published by the icr so all these things should be considered while writing results and discussion in your mind okay. next tables and figures as i have told you earlier also tables and figures should not be more than 20% of the text <clears throat> of the total text there should be not be repetition of data in tables and uh, figures as i have told you earlier also if there are more tables combine them similarly give good figures of like diagrams they should be good and presentable table presentable honi chahiye and very good and graph if you want to give some graph or some uh, other so you have to give very good presentable next references references is also very vital part of a research paper as i have told it should be uh, latest one not old it should be properly given normally it should contain names year in text 
corresponding to those of given in the list of references there should be match between text and latest uh, and, uh, and in the list of uh, references in the last your uh, in your research paper so they should correspond each and every year and all these things references should give name of authors initials year of publication full title of article name of the journal without abbreviation volume issue in parenthesis and complete page range here so many students commit very uh, commit a blunder while citing references for example they <coughs> give abbreviation they are not standard ones for example indian journal of agricultural sciences so they write ind indian j uh, agric sign so indian ka abbreviation indian ind is not abbreviation of indian or india japanese jp is not abbreviation for japanese australian aus is not abbreviation for australian either you write Okay. standard abbreviation or spell out or uh, while writing name of a particular country and uh, uh, tree you have to write you have to spell out indian japanese australian etc etc in case of books give complete name of publisher place of publication editor's name etc details of a book for proceedings complete detail should be given now uh, i will tell you the uh, how you can cite different types of references yeah. in my next slide consult style manual for biology okay before this uh, consult uh, style manual for biological journals for writing research article there is one book very old book if you can read it there will be no need to consult anything or even editor you will be perfect in writing so if this is my humble request to all budding scientists or or students please consult this uh, book and uh, it is very old book it it may be available otherwise i will get you available you you can ask me i will make you available this is very good book this will uh, teach you how to write how to uh, abbreviate how can you consult uh, all these things so before writing i think this this is the book you consult please this is my humble request to everybody next here i have cited some examples while writing references if uh, you want to cite some reference of a research journal then you have to consult like that you will find out i have i have given author's name year of publication title of the research paper and a bot with a supported with botanical names okay and complete name of journal indian journal of agriculture sciences its volume number 85 it is in bold eight is a number of issue in parenthesis and page range page range is 1012 to 16 it means 1012 to 1016 but uh, last page uh, range uh, it should be in two digit not in three digit this is internationally accepted style so you always follow while citing reference for a research journal for books normally books uh, when we cite uh, the reference of a book uh, people do not uh, care so you please write like that falsa is the name of a chapter in that book its botanical name is given and the name of book is in breeding in 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 it means breeding of uh, under utilized fruit crops it has been cited in that book and its edition is first edition ghos asan is the editor of this book and <clears throat> the publisher's name is narendra publishing house new delhi complete address matlab if you want to consult you can find out uh, all information regarding this reference so this is my uh, request while citing uh, reference of a book you please give complete information complete information about the book so that reader or the your follower can 
find out that book and can consult. Okay. Uh, one problem normally people face in uh, while uh, citing reference of a proceedings. So I have given this example. You have to consult all these things while writing reference of a uh, uh, conference, proceeding, summit, and all these things. So you write like that. In proceedings, where uh, in, in book, I have written the name of the book. Here in proceedings of conference on fruit crops held at CISS Lucknow during 23 to 25 May 2029 and page raises this. So I have given when it was held, what was the topic of the conference, what was the topic of, uh, of a presenter, all complete information are there. So readers are not uh, required to go this there and there for uh, considering all these things. So you have to be careful very uh, much while writing references from other sources. Keep last page limit in two digit always. This is internationally accepted style. So you follow this next. Conclusion. So many people write conclusion in, <clears throat> in a half page, one page that is wrong. You give the gist of your research findings just in two to three lines, three to four lines, not more than that. Give the final recommendation of your article in three, four lines or in one, uh, even the one or two sentences you can write. Next. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement writing is itself is an art. People uh, write uh, acknowledgement by giving their names and all these things. That is not good. That is not uh, that is not correct. So always acknowledge by their designation, by the name of the institution, principal investigator, etc., etc., and only. Acknowledgement is given when you have got some financial aid, you have uh, given some uh, technical input, you have given some material uh, material from some institute, then only acknowledge. Otherwise, it is not required. Some Because in routine, if you are doing some research in your routine that you are acknowledging to your head or director or to your VC, that is not good. That is not required. So don't acknowledge until unless it is very urgent or uh, until uh, unless it is a uh, uh, financial uh, input or technical input. Okay, so these are the things we should be kept in mind. Acknowledgement, unnecessary, it creates uh, so many uh, lines and uh, half pages sometimes it is wrong. Next. Next, please. Research review article. One problem is there with so many people, so many young and budding scientists, budding uh, students, that uh, they want to write research review article. Research review article can be written only by those who has who have done 10, 15 day years research and they have published. 10, 12, or more than 10, 12 papers in research papers in uh, high impact factor journal, oblique high NAS rating journals, then only one can review research article. Otherwise, junior people, they, they should not uh, review. They can review, but they cannot write research review article for in a research journal. So, <clears throat> points out lacuna in research. Research review paper points out lacuna in research. Who can uh, find out lacuna? Who has done the work? Who has done the research? He or she can find out the lacuna. Emphasize on challenges on that subject. He or she can emphasize on challenges of that subject. Highlights findings, research breakthroughs, if any. Suggest new avenues, research of uh, areas of research. So these are the things we should be kept in mind while you want to write a research review article. Junior people cannot write. So many people send so many articles to current horticulture. I, I reject them 
and uh, if they ask or they are uh, available or they are accessible i uh, try to convince them uh, that, that you people can not write you should not write you do research you can write research paper only so it is my humble request don't waste your time on reviewing reviewing all these things better you write research article emphasize on research and don't write uh, research review article every article as i have told has a page limitation word limitation so full uh, page limit for a article should be 3500 words 10 to 12 type pages in double space as uh, uh, i have told page limit in abstract also so research review article should also contain 3500 words or 10 to 12 type pages next please who can write research review article as i have told you he or she can write who has done wonders who has done some research pay, uh, research and he has got published so many articles in high impact factor oblique high nas scoring journals he or she can write or he or she should write normally whenever i receive article from junior people i reject and i also uh, request them either you either you need uh, either uh, you uh, give name of a senior people who has contributed like that and he has cited uh, 10 12 references then only it will be accepted except i have rejected so many articles so many articles and normally i told younger people please don't uh, waste your time on uh, writing research review papers next please next please short notes as i have told you about uh, research article short note is itself a uh, writing a <coughs> writing is a good habit one year data should be published as a short note normally uh, one year data because uh, msc students uh, they give one year data so it, it's it can be published as a short note short notes should consist of not more than 1500 words or five or four to five type pages in double space so uh, try to give uh, two year data or three year data so that they can we can publish full length article or not a, as a short note next please rewrite your article after writing your article you develop some habit to rewrite it because after writing your article you uh if you will write after 4 5 days or for after a week or after 15 days you will find so many improvement so much improvement so you consult again and again and rewrite it again 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 and again you will find so many changes so many changes you will learn yourself from your own writing and there are so many things which which you can update you can improve in your writing itself do not hesitate in showing your art write up to others always show it to others who is working on the same probe or the same uh, subject you show it you can show it to your boss you can show it to your friend colleagues and all others even so many times if you want to show it uh, to junior people he or she can also improve you can learn learning process never ends you can learn so many things from junior people from your children itself i learn so many things from my granddaughter from my grandson also so these are the things which uh, should be kept in mind uh, never hesitate while rewrite your article rewriting is very important you will find so many changes after doing msc or phd or uh, after 10 15 years if you see your uh, msc or phd thesis you can change you can rewrite itself and you will find a lot of changes are there so you must be very careful and uh, uh, don't hesitate while showing it to some other people it it helps a lot you will find a lot of changes please next next please plagiarism it is very important nowadays every publication has plagiarism so there is one software you can consult that while writing your research paper you consult that you will find out uh, 
uh, from where you have taken the material or if you have copied some material and pasted some material so it will help you in improving your write up so you change it otherwise uh, editors uh, normally we have plagiarism software for plagiarism and if there is more than uh, 30% uh, plagiarism we simply reject we simply reject and uh, we are follow we have followed this system in icr also so plagiarism if you can check uh, check your plagiarism your article yourself i think it will help you a lot before uh, getting it rejected or getting it uh, uh, sending somewhere else so always consult uh, plagiarism thank you next next please writing popular article now uh, <laughs> i as i have told uh, uh, one thing more i have uh, forgotten always uh, consult dictionaries because you people uh, do not ha have dictionary do not uh, consult dictionary so always keep dictionary with you that may be uh, simple di dictionary technical dictionary or whatever it is you can keep all dictionaries in your phone also so always consult dictionaries you will find uh, meaning uh, several meaning of a single word in in dictionary not anywhere else don't uh, consult uh, this uh, uh, <clears throat> net or all these things always consult very authentic dictionaries that is very good that is very good so before i start writing popular article for a magazine or newspaper if you agree and you want to uh, consult uh, or you want to listen i i will tell you otherwise uh, popular article uh, writing is itself a good art good art good art and if you want to learn i will uh, dictate something about all uh, these also so uh, or you may take some take some rest or uh, because little bit conf it may create little uh, little bit confusion uh, among you people uh, so if you agree and you want to listen i will i am ready no problem no problem so you please tell me whether i start or not hello should i start hello Sir, yes, sir. Hello. Sir, yes, sir. Anyway, I, I, I start. I start writing popular article for a magazine or newspaper. As a one thing more, I have forgotten to tell you about uh, thesis writing also. As I have told you, uh, so many things about uh, writing a research paper. <clears throat> thesis contains summary, and that summary is extended uh, form of abstract. so this is the only difference between writing a popular article or a thesis writing thesis contains all the things title abstract uh, keywords material methods results and discussion uh, acknowledgement references uh, all these things except summary that contains summary and summary is extended form of abstract so this is the only difference between summary writing between uh, thesis writing and a popular writing so keep all these things in your mind again and i assure you that you will learn a lot and you will be perfect in thesis writing and as well as popular as well as research article writing so now i start writing popular article for a magazine or a newspaper as i have told writing means to communicate the audience in writing not verbally be very careful before you before you start writing keep the interest of readers in your mind communication or your write up should be in an audience oriented manner writing popular is little bit different than a research paper next please writing popular article for a magazine or newspaper writing means this i have told next next please similarly writing 
a article for magazine also contains title that should be catchy short and very attractive time oriented news oriented compel the readers to read the article serve the purpose of the audience it should be audience oriented examples i have given some examples videshi kintu poshak this is three word title and this was written in vigyan pragati a magazine published by the csir an article it was written by me videshi kintu poshak foreign where i uh, vegetable but it is nutritive so it is only three words title it is very attractive and it was liked a lot by the readers next uh, next uh, uh, heading i have written have a plate full of chemical free vegetable an article on pesticide residue in vegetable i have written this similarly honey makes life more sweeter how honey is itself very sweet but how it makes sweeter it means it increase the uh, uh, increase the uh, uh, increase the income of a farmer so it it makes life sweeter more sweeter chili to make life sweet chili, how chili can make life sweet by only cultivating by a good uh, uh, getting good money so this was the also title garlic flavor to enrich socio economic status so these are the title different types of article uh, title i i have wrote uh, in my kya uh, kya na chahiye 15 years ago 15 years ago so uh, title should be like that in popular magazine the, then only you your title will be liked and a reader will like to read further next please intro paragraph as i have told you introduction in the research paper here is also you have to given one intro paragraph it should have the gist of your article preferably it should give the answer of four four w's and one h four w stands for where why and when h stands for how so all these answers should be given in intro paragraph intro paragraph should convey the complete message so that reader are satisfied if the reader needs he or she may go in details in further reading of your article the readers will read the article if they want the details only otherwise they will not read next please innovative farmers inspire the, uh, here i have cited next next please here i i have cited some introduction intro paragraph innovative farmers inspire fellow here there is one mistake follow uh, follow is wrong fellow fellow farmers so uh, title how uh, much title is uh, very good and intro paragraph these are the in, intro paragraph this is just like abstract in research article so it has given the gist of your uh, uh, article next exploring glory next next please next please text of article here write the text after introduct introductory paragraph the text should be in descending order or importance emphasize on your own findings here follow proper heading scheme in popular writing you have to follow popular heading scheme broader subject should be highlighted in in uh, bold or in caps where is uh, uh, other in in a descending order divide the entire text into various headings that is central heading sub heading insert heading etc etc though these are the parts of uh, uh printing but you have also learn all these things use keywords in heading similarly you have to use keywords follow heading scheme in accordance of the significance of the text make box item news if you want to highlight something if some uh, success stories they are 
or something is very important so highlight into a a box box item that is known as box item news you might be uh, finding a box item news in newspaper also in some magazines also and in all the issues of indian horticulture you will find a find out so many boxes in every article if some article is very good we usually give two to three four to five box item news so important news they are highlighted in the box box next please rewrite your article as i have told you rewrite is very important it includes <clears throat> it develops the habit of writing again and again rewrite your article after 4 5 days or more than that you will find a lot of changes you will learn yourself from your writing do not hesitate show it in your to your friends colleagues you may show it your to your boss or a person working on the same problem crop or same discipline so rewriting habit that is very important please follow it strictly next please writing for success story in popular writing there are uh, so many success stories developed day to day in our uh, life so uh, this is also a art uh, one should write who has got success in introducing new technology methodology etc diversification of any crop in a particular area or for for uh, more return he she is inspirative to other farmers what is cost is to benefit ratio of the farm produce what are the pro prospects of a of that farm commodities show the difference in adoption of that particular technique variety seed and tool etc all these things if you want to highlight so uh, uh, that then only you can write a success story success story uh, have has very importance in a popular writing in popular writing you might be <clears throat> you might be uh, seeing in a, in your day to day life so many success stories so you please consult those farmers you take their interview consult all economics of cultivation and all these uh, facts and write success story they they have very good rate of publication in popular magazines or in even newspapers so you please consult it, your writing uh, that is very important next please here i have cited some examples of uh, success stories innovative farmers inspire fellow farmers uh, this is follow uh, this is wrong fellow farmers here uh, one example i will tell you I, I am unable to read it, but I think uh, this is the success story of a Andhra uh, boy who went to Dr. Janki Ramji when he was head floriculture and landscaping division at IERI. He went there and uh, he he collected some material on chrysanthemum, and uh, he he started cultivation of chrysanthemum in his area. And he got very good success, very good success. And I think that is a, this is that success story I have written. And he did wonders in chrysanthemum cultivation. So uh, I, I do remember he used to come and he is a, he has become very good fellow or inspirator of Dr. Jan Kiram as well as mine. So these type of success stories have very good importance other other i have highlighted this uh, uh, success story in my indian horticulture uh, when i was editor in indian uh, icr so these things should be highlighted these should be highlighted and you have to learn the art of writing success story that has very good impact very good impact in uh, our day to day life next please Uh, these are different. Uh, yeah, this is that theory. The IRI, Harbinger for Chrysanthemum Growers Prosper Pro Prosperity. This is that uh, a success story which I have uh, written in uh, 2000, something like that. So uh, these 
these are the art you one should develop as i have come to know through dr janki ram ji uh, so many growers are there uh, who are uh, doing wonders in different crops so for example diversification crop introduction crop cultivation economics of cultivation so you people should have a habit to uh, develop success stories of all those farmers and uh, one or two farmers have got uh, award also as a best farmer in our uh, indian horticulture summit uh, who was introduced by dr janki ram ji so uh, better it is better you please learn and give success stories to different newspaper papers in your uh, in your mother tongue also and to indian horticulture the magazine published by the icr itself icr itself so uh, you get inspiration and uh, i think uh, uh, you must do you must do like that next please consult dictionary as i have told you always consult dictionary dictionary technical dictionary don't consult this uh, uh, net always consult technical dictionary ordinary dictionary for english uses uh, you will find four five meanings even more meanings of a single word so th this is the dictionary also which can teach you so many things and so many problems you will your uh, will be solved don't hesitate don't be lazy in consulting dictionary N mai I, i myself at the age of uh, 65 consult dictionary i have dictionary on my table always i consult dictionary please uh, make a habit of consulting dictionary next please question as i have told you about popular writing also now write an article for a magazine on your own choice crop giving following facts you have developed a new variety of like hybrid having salient quality characters better than the hitherto popularly grown variety its cultivation practices which are different to those of traditionally grown varieties yield character yield potential except export potential post harvest management and value addition all these things you have to highlight highlighted in you have to highlight in the, in, the, in your article and and write article and show it to me i i shall be i will see and you can send afterwards also on my mail itself i will find out and i will teach you where you have and uh, left the lacuna so please develop this habit always write rewrite all these things will make you very perfect doing research that is very important but to disseminate the research that is more important otherwise it has it has no meaning nothing nothing i have seen so many friends in my life who have done wonders they have kept their article research article in their computer in their laptop but they have not got it published uh, once uh, i will tell you the example one my good friend of mine uh, he was having so many art research article in his, in his computer once he saw this show all these things to me i told him this is offense you are doing offense for the science so he got them immediately published and fortunately on the basis of those published article his uh, by data became uh, very good and he was selected for the director in the icr institute so these are the things so many people commit like that please don't do like that uh, disseminate write good articles popular articles success stories and get them published in relevant or according publications so i have asked the questions you prepare you can send on my mail on my mail or in my i have given my phone number also you can interact me any time any day i have no problem no hesitation except 11:30 to 5:30 in the night my phone is always on you can ask okay next please thank you thank you dear thank you very much i love all my dear students who have listened very carefully to me so i would like uh, to uh, give your answer where if you ask i i will be happy 
I, it will be it should be very interactive rather uh, lecture oriented thank you very much dear you may ask Hello. Hello, my testing. Hello. Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Hmm. Sir, Dr. Sundar, sir. So, bold. Sir, are we audible, sir? Sir, am Hello, sir. Am I audible? Hello. Hello. Sir, am I audible, sir? Hola. Audible. Hello, I am not audible, madam. Thank you very much, sir, for your deep insight and giving a very uh, sharing your wide knowledge about this uh, effective way of writing a research article right from uh, uh, selection of the title and the components of a research article. Meeting passcode. Yes, sir, and uh, you have given uh, your knowledge uh, so that yeah. our students yeah. will get benefited and they will publish their articles, research articles in uh, reputed journals with good NAS rating. Great, Thank sir. you so much, sir. Now I request all the students, especially the PG and PhD students from College of Horticulture, Anantarajpet, and College of Horticulture, Venkatraman, please interact with sir and you can clarify your doubts and also you can take suggestions from him. Afterwards. Hello. I request the students from College of Horticulture, Anantarajpet, Sir, are we audible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Please speak. Ah, yes, sir. So this is Duraji Rao, working as professor at the College of Horticulture, Venkatramana Gudam. Thank you, sir, for giving elaborate and useful presentation on uh, scientific writing. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you have mentioned, uh, title, uh, very good, sir, that uh, uh, gist should be indicated in the title. And even when there are scientific names, uh, measures to be taken, how to present them in uh, 
as short as possible. And another important observation I underscored is uh, in the uh, presentation of uh, tables, figures, etc. 20% of that 20%, yes. uh, there in the uh, research article. And uh, our university, uh, we have books readily, the MLA handbook, sir. MLA handbook of scientific writing we have. And uh, we also have research methodology. Research methodology, both books, uh, they are serving the purpose of uh, uh, knowing some contents on uh, technical writing. And thank you, sir. But one thing uh, to supplement, uh, probably these days, uh, how to uh, preserve or save the thesis or uh, any of these uh, scientific publications in electronic form. Because earlier days, we made a lot of guidelines for presenting them in soft copy. But CDs uh, have become outdated. Maybe all those uh, things are now pertinent for uh, pen drives or uh, other kinds of electronic uh, storage devices. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, I would uh, like to invite some of the faculty members and uh, students to ask the presenter uh, about their uh, doubts or to express their feelings on this presentation. Okay. Sir, good morning, sir. Can you please tell us about the Society for Horticulture Promotion and Development about it and uh, research and development, how we can get uh, the membership, how to get enrolled, uh, and also for the current horticulture so that uh, and uh, about uh, the the importance of uh, the journal scopus index journals publication in scopus index journals and uh, the importance of the nas rating sir about the society especially about the society for horticulture research and development ah uh, madam uh, to get that's all it is a it is sir, very it is not, not audible, old society. Hey, it is not old society. It was established in 2013. 2013, and uh, for membership, we have all uh, details on our website that is www.currenthorticulture.com. So membership form is also there, and uh, we have all activities done by the society. All these things have been displayed on our website, so you can find out all details. And after that, if you need some more information and you want to consult something more, you are free to uh, give me email. You are free to uh, talk to me on my phone. My phone number is also there. And uh, every time I am available, I am accessible, no problem. So, and we have award provision also. We have... Uh, so many activities we have done webinar also in a covid era and uh, some uh, more topics we have covered actually uh, you might be very very happy this society was established with the with the kind initiatives taken by your uh, vice chancellor dr janki ram ji and he is the main architect behind this uh, so, uh, society and uh, current horticulture the name of current horticulture was also given by himself himself so uh, you can find out all these things on the website and apart from that you can consult me anytime thank you sir Thank and uh, our journal is very good journal and uh, for your information our society is though 10 years old but uh, it is one of the emerging societies and it has taken second or uh, likely first place in the country it is world over recognized sir just uh, for the on behalf of house uh, one query i would like to ask sir if yeah. there are more than 10 or 20 subscribers for a life membership, um, is there any rebate for the uh, subscription amount, sir? 10? No, no. Actually, actually, uh, rebate is not there. Rebate provision is not there because uh, whoever take membership today, he may be a student. 
he can afford he cannot afford but tomorrow he will be scientist he will be head he will be principal scientist he will be director and somewhere uh, vc etc etc so we have kept only 3000 rupees a very nominal fee very nominal it is applicable for uh, every type of membership either it is a student faculty member or whatever it is 3000 is very minimal mi minimum and nominal fee so there is no subscription. How about library subscription for uh, private institutions? We have some provision. Sir, but is, not is it an uh, annual or life membership, sir? Life member, 3,000 rupees. Okay. 3,000 is a very nominal, nominal amount. Uh, our, uh, is, uh, our society has recommended to increase it uh, two to three years back but we have not increased because the 3000 is, is itself a good amount and uh, it is affordable by all types of students our our aim is to disseminate science disseminate uh, younger people as our uh, uh, vcs have uh, always emphasized on uh, uh, encouraging younger people so 3000 we will not increase 3000 more than 3000 okay sir So I would I would like to request all of you to become member of the society and uh, get published their uh, research paper. Uh, though you are uh, somebody are contributing from this uh, YSR university, but I request everybody to become the member. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks uh, to the uh, Dr. Somnath Dutta sir for the, your excellent uh, this uh, presentation on this how to write a technical thesis and article in a smart way. And uh, regarding this, sir, I have some queries. Uh, so I would like to share with you. So uh, at the level of MSc and PhD students, uh, our main uh, problem is how to identify the real uh, journal for publishing article means how to identify the predatory journal, uh, journal or uh, NAS rating or Scopus uh, good good quality of journal. So this is the, my first query, sir. So please uh, highlight uh, on this point. How to edit? You want to know how to edit? Sorry, you want to uh, know how to edit uh, for high uh, NAS rating journal? Hello. Yes. You want to know how to edit? No, no, sir. I would like to repeat. I would like to repeat again, sir. Okay. How to identify? How, how to, to identify the predatory journals? How to edit? You want to know? Hello. You want to know how to edit? Identify. Identify. Good, sir. Identify. Okay, okay. Identify. Actually, this is the criteria followed by uh, committee which is sitting in the NAS. So they are expert. They evaluate the journal. They evaluate the contents. They evaluate the uh, citation. They evaluate the uh, dissemination, circulation, and all these things are evaluated in the in the respective uh, offices. So th they have certain criteria. On the basis of that criteria, they evaluate and they find out what uh, what should be there and what should not be there. That is just a minute, just a minute. I, I just a minute. Uh, uh, Dr. Janki Ramji is on the line, so I will talk to him. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Ah, just your VC was there on the line. Uh, predatory general can be evaluated by their respective committees. So every office. Uh, having such type of facility 
और नॉस रेटिंग और इम्पैक्ट डिसाइडिंग इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर दे हैव देयर कमेटी एंड दे हैव देयर सर्टेन क्राइटेरिया सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट दे डिसाइड आई मीन आई आई एम वेरी मच इन टच इन द नॉस बट दे डोंट डिस्क्लोज व्हाट इज द क्राइटेरिया they have their committee uh, they decide and they simply give this is the nas rating this is your uh, uh, rating of your journal so i would like to tell you after some times i will find out uh, from uh, the respective office and i will let you know you please uh, uh, you can ask me on mail or my, on my phone also okay okay i will tell you and sir another query sir sir regarding uh, that uh, news and magazine citations how we will cite that on uh, for writing any thesis or any article what how to cite the news or magazine sir magazine magazine how to cite magazine magazines and news news from news and magazines how to cite uh, like news and magazines sir? any kind No, I am unable to listen you properly. Citation, different citation. Okay, okay. You ask you uh, you write a mail to me and all queries you please uh, highlight. I I will uh, I will give you answer. Really, I am very thankful to you. You have raised good questions, good uh, points. You 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 can ask. You can ask on my mail. Okay, I will I will reply adequately. Okay, sir. Adequately. Okay. That's it from my side. Oh yes, I will I I will give you reply. is there anybody to interact with the presenter from anandraj pete campus hello sir you are muted sir if no one is there to clarify the doubts from college of horticulture anantaraj pet uh, will propose vote of thanks please let us know good afternoon sir sir from anantaraj pet article College of Horticulture. I would like to say thanks to 
giving this uh, informative lecture on writing thesis and uh, writing uh, research articles, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, one student. Thank Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. On behalf of the College of Articulture, Anandra Ajpet, I would like to uh, thank you a lot, sir. You have given valuable information regarding the paper writings, popular writings. Thank you, sir, for your valuable information. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request Dr. P. Gangadhar Rao, Assistant Professor, to propose vote of thanks. You share. Papa by glue, Papa is a chirpy penny. Thank you. Respect and participants. And participants of today's webinar. Good afternoon to everyone. If time is money, then today we have spent it, invested millions for us to reap the eternal knowledge. On behalf of Dr. Weiser Hartikals University, it is a pleasure to have an opportunity to express our deep sense of gratitude to all of you for making this program a grand success. First, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to Chief Guest of today webinar, Dr. T. Janikram Garu, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vice Hartikal University. Because of his hectic schedule, he is unable to attend, but he sent wishes. And also, thankful to your visionary thoughts, sir. Our sincere gratitude to our guest of honor for today webinar, Dr. Vice A.S. Padmatham Garu, Dean of Horticulture, and Dr. Surip Kumari Garu, Dean PGS, and Dr. Salomi uh, Sunita Garu, DSA, Dr. Vaisar Hartikal University, for their rock solid support system and encouragement in all possible manner to organize this webinar in our campus. I am gratified to today's speaker, Dr. Somdat Garu, Managing Editor, Current Horticulture, for enlightening the participant about effective ways of writing a thesis research article. Sir, your lecture was extremely informative and need of power for students and faculty. After your lecture, I think significant change is going to happen to our students in writing. We promise you the aspect change. Thank you, sir. My sincere thanks to Dr. Madhavi Madangaru, Associate Dean, College of Horticulture, Venkatraman Gudam, for her constant encouragement and support at various stages. A special mention to organizing committee, teaching, non-teaching staff for their unflinching support and coordination. Our heartfelt thanks to our budding rosters 
for their active participation with interest and curiosity to learn about the effective ways of writing a thesis and research article. Thank you so much for your participation. Once again, thank, thank you all. Sir, shall we close the program? Dr. Somdat, sir. Ah, please. Please. Ah, ji, please, please. Sir, shall okay, we close thank the Thank you program? very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I thank Dr. Janki Ramji, Honorable VC of Dr. YSR Hortical University and all faculty members, including Dr. Surya Kumari ji, Padma Vatham ji, Madhavi ji, Uma Krishnan ji, or Padma ji, and my dear students who have listened to me very carefully and patiently, and I hope that they will be uh, getting benefit from my all points I have uh, raised in my talk. So <clears throat> I'm very thankful to you. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.